could easily be a, a victory condition. And also, the survivors teabagging at the exit gate to leave, they're not leaving, they're going back to the trial. So it's, it's essentially, let's say you're a villain of a horror movie, and uh, <coughs> there's a, a door, and the door just leads to loads of fire, right? And there's a survivor there at the door, and they're like, ha ha, I've escaped, teabag, teabag, and they open the door and jump into fire. That's essentially what they're doing when they escape. So they're not actually escaping. So survivors teabagging with them just going back to the exit, uh, just going back to the campfire, and then back into another trial to get tortured again, isn't really a win for them, is it? If you actually follow the law of the game. It's just because people have been conditioned. They've been conditioned to think they're actually escaping. They're not. The, the game literally tells you death is not an escape. Death is not an escape, an escape is an escape. It's how, how the game's designed. Like, when they go through the exit gate, they go back to the campfire and then back into another trial. That's the whole point. They are stuck in limbo. They are stuck in hell. So they're not escaping. It's just that people get conditioned. And the devs are really incompetent at, like, actually creating small gameplay loops. I just say how it is, man. They are. But they literally have law which could create a healthy gameplay loop for everyone, and they just refuse to kind of acknowledge it. I just adapt, man. You know, don't blame me. Don't blame, you know, other killers that are tunneling, camping and stuff. They're just adapting. They're adapting to the poorly thought out gameplay loop from the devs. Oh, that was a nice hit. I like that. That's why I always find it really strange with the, the people crying about tunneling and camping and all this stuff. It's like, dude, it's literally the game. Like, th this is the game you keep defending, you know? What, like, you want this play style. But, like, if I was listened to, the game would be about more chases and hooks. Oh, nice. But the victory condition right now, for some strange reason, is you need to kill three people. Nothing to do with the law. You kill them, they just go back to the campsite. But it's just, it's, it's the victory condition the devs have decided. They're very incompetent, man. I don't, I don't want to say. They're very good, you know, like the visual stuff and, and like the new killers and things like that. But gameplay loop and um, balance, very incompetent. Very, very incompetent, in my opinion. Mm -mm -mm. They just make each side hate each other. <laughs> Without each side realizing it's the devs doing it. Um, This isn't good. I don't know who the first hook were. And I weren't concentrating as hard. And I don't have meta. I do have Rancor though. Okay, I do have Rancor. There's a god loop here, or a god pallet they added. This just wastes time, caught all about it. She didn't put it down. Oh, we need to leave. Her making that one read there is damaging enough to lose two gens. They have a god pallet to my right over there. Uh, who were the one? Kate. Okay, so four and two so far. We might be able to get it here. Good. Yeah, no gender defense is scary, man. Always will be. We do have Rancor and um, No Way Out and things though, so we do have a bit of a gimmick at the end. We definitely aren't going to be able to get kills before the end, I don't think. Not with all the god pallets and stuff. But I think we, uh, we can maybe do something at the end. Yeah. Someone were over here. Yeah, one gen, told you. So someone's over there and one's over there. 
And the port reassurance. Yeah, no. I don't think there's a chance here. Always enjoy your content before going to work slash school every day. You, you might go for the save. The go by faster. No. Keep up the great content. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Do 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 do. Okay, a bit greedy on the god pallet. Might get a hit here because of that. So as you can see, I've got three hooks and there's one gen left. Why do you think that is? Obviously the gen defense thing, but I'm talking about why do you think this is a very common occurrence with the balance of DBD? I'll tell you why I think, um, but I'm just kind of curious about your thoughts. Like, try, try and kind of come to a conclusion, come to that causality, right, cause and effect. Like, what would cause this being um, kind of, I want to say agreed upon. Actually, I think she is off the record uh, as working correctly. And why would they believe that? There's a reason, and it does make logical sense. Bad body, but that's good. If we can get her, we can potentially... Wait, why is she the obsession? Oh, fuck. She's the obsession now. Well, that actually might not be too bad. There's a body block. Couldn't stop that. I do want to see what you say, but I can't look away yet because the sound on this game is... very bad. I've lost her. God damn it. And that was not even looking away. Perfect dead odds. This is a really sweaty team for a non-meta build, by the way. This is a really fucking sweaty team for a non-meta build. Did they pick RPD or did they get it? There we go. What a waste of good suffering. Over there. Did she get that in time? Oh, please. No tears. She did. They are a waste of good suffering. Nice, that's huge. We do have an ace up our sleeve. But. It's a bit stressful. But we still have number four on Death Hook. I think we have number three on Death Hook as well. I really want to see what you're saying, but I can't fucking look away. There you could love the game, man. Who's this? Number three. That's safe. Wait, what? Bad play. Completely safe. Pallet she pre drops it. Got pallet to a left. Still is active. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. I thought she would run the other way. They're going to be on that gen now, by the way. This one. Trying to rush it while... Uh... Injured, potentially? Oh, she's on death hook. That's one. Into live. No pre-drop. Oh, they're going to pre-drop this. Wrong side, good. Trying to look for another god pallet. She has one over here that she could potentially get. Oh, body block. She was down. No sound. Okay, she's gone to this side. Oh, 
very nice. They're gonna finish that next gen, but we do have an ace of our sleeves, so let's see what happens here. Nope. You don't body block this. Pop. Well, lucky for us, they've started um, being less efficient on the gens. Because there's no reason that these gens weren't done already. There you go. But still way slower than they should have been. I think we can win this. Because we're going to get a Rancor by hitting someone. Her. She's going to die in one. There we go. Now she's Rancor, so she dies in one. And the other's going to take ages to open this stuff. So this actually worked out. God damn, I thought I broke that. Uh, where's she going? I should be a hit. Nah, the, everything broke too quick. There we go. Knew she was going to look for that. Alright, we get to kill her. Watch your ears. The, uh, the devs have not fixed the sound on uh, this Mori. It's kind of like Village Chainsaw, which took them five years to fix. Same thing. So watch out. Tinnitus uh, creator. It's about five times louder than the, uh, the volume of everything else. All right, now we have uh, Remember Me. So it's either going to be a draw or a win, depending on this last part. The Why box. would you do that? You opened it. That's stupid. I came. Strange. I <laughs> win. Good shit. We actually got to play the game kind of closer to what I would like. Like, they weren't as much tunneling, camping, hook counting, they were more chasers. Uh, it's purely because they weren't efficient on gens at the end. Uh, it was nothing to me. Um, and you'll be able to see that when I go against an efficient team. I can play the exact same and they just, you know, the gens are going to fly. Um, but what I was saying earlier is um, when we get to that point where we've got three hooks and they've got one gen left, why is that a thing, right? Um, the reason is the devs are not getting proper data. Why are they not getting proper data? Because when when people play killer, they're not playing the game for chasers, a lot of people. They're playing for kills. And when they play for kills, they try strategies which allow imbalanced kind of um, objectives to be in the game, right? Um, instead of, you know, trying to go for the 12 chasers, now they only go for four or they go for five, you see? So they, they've made it so instead of going for, you know, the amount of chasers that the devs kind of think or the community in general think that the killers can go for, they cut that in like half or whatever. And that's why they keep it the way it is. That's why when I say, you know, if you balance for hooks and everything, the game would go into a better place because the devs that get better data, they realize, oh, when killers go for chasers, they're only getting... Um, four hooks, five hooks, uh, which obviously isn't a win condition uh, on average. So we need to kind of look into this. But at the moment, they're seeing, oh, killers are... Well, killers still aren't even... Got the auto aim thing. Uh, killers still aren't um, getting crazy results. Like 60% is drawing most of the games, but it's still at least two kills, right? Um, will it go to it? Will, wow, okay. I wasn't sure if it had gone to uh, the obsession when everyone's dead. Um, so yeah, that, that's why I think like the days, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and the, the new data the dev showed. Um, you go this way. Shoot it. The new dev, uh, new data the dev showed where it's all kills and everything, I, I think it's kind of meaningless. And I said on Twitter, what I would like to see as data, and I don't think the devs are dare show this, but I would love to see 
uh, at the top bracket, top MMR, um, every killer, how many hooks they have for how many gens completed. So when there's uh, one gen completed, how many hooks on average does every killer get? When two gens are completed, how many hooks on average does every killer get? Because that'll give us a better understanding of the chase potential of these killers, and it'll give you an understanding on if people, um, if and why people aren't going for all these chases that survivors want the killers to go for. Do you get what I mean? So we're actually getting good data, and it's not us versus them, it's not this kind of toxic tribalism bullshit. It's actually understanding why people play the way they play. Uh, but they won't show it. They won't show that. Because it goes away from this kind of fake narrative they created that they've actually got a balanced game. Right? So there you go. Uh, there's my little... Uh, my position. Um, and feel feel free to address the, the faults in it. Um, if there is any. Uh, Shane, thank you for the free months. Appreciate it, man. Mm-mm-mm.